Kim Kim. So, I love that. No bullshit. I texted you this before I even made it public because it was a personal thing. Tensions got high yesterday. Me and you were both there for positive reasons, and you know we both believed in it. And Hate Dies, Love Arrives did not flop. It was a great success. It didn't go in the way I intended it for it to happen, but it went in the way I needed it to happen. Because like I said, I don't know if you heard it, Ticketmaster and Live Nation feel so bad about it being a bomb threat, me investing all my money, me doing this with good intentions. I explained to them why the song was being played, because obviously they're not going to allow me to do it. Shane Dawson supposed to be his interview. This is oh a little bit God. different. I'm so but sorry, Shane. So much we could totally... <laughs> I'm sorry, Shane. Because me and Shane were having like the best hour-long conversation so before this started so happening. We will get... Yeah, yeah, it was tight before that too. So just for the record, like this is not like in place of the Shane Dawson. Right, I love you. They are now helping me make the next one, whether it be August fifteenth or October fifteenth. And that, but I feel like if Drake said that to you, he was basically saying, "I'm not." Drake coming. didn't say that to me. Drake didn't say that to me. What did he say? Can we hear that story about you, me, and I Drake? I will tell that. Okay. I'm opening up to read you my tweets as I tell the story because this was the most fantastic story of my life. Okay. So Nights the whole of the round time table as vibes. I'm planning this event, right? <laughs> I'm in talks with NES's mentorship in this. Tyler Perry is helping me through this. OVO Johnny, who's OVO Ryan's brother, who's in Drake's team, who gave me this tattoo at OVO's tattoo shop, was FaceTiming me every five minutes to see how it was going. <coughs> but here was the beauty of it, right? Shout out to Bear Woods, that's our weed sponsor tonight. Fusi, if you want to blaze up, we got it on deck. Yo, this story, um, please put this in the documentary. Okay. Can you like this? Yeah. Do you mind? Wait, do you mind? Okay. He's no, gonna no. saw how he's gonna freak out. <laughs> no, I won't smoke. Oh, Shane like, tweets out. Sure. No, yeah, I'm just kidding. Leaked his number. He had to change his number. It was on complete fucking accident. Here's what happened. Do you think maybe like just shit like that and a lot of other things? Four maybe banks. you need to slow down. 100. I'm heartbroken over what happened with banks. So my iPhone through the event planning. Anybody who's organized an event knows stress can get high. If he wanted to protect Drake and kick me out, he would have said, "Get the hell out of here." He looks at me. He goes. Mm, he's feeling it. He knows I'm talking with a purpose and I mean it and I'm hungry. I'm psycho at this point. I'm hungry. He goes, wait right here. But before he goes, this is gonna, everyone's gonna have shit to say about this. Hungry, knowing that I left my house that night saying I'm gonna meet Drake like a crazy person and literally, Adam, I'm this close to Drake. But instead of taking that moment to be like, Drake, can I get a picture? This is gonna prove all my haters wrong. I accept those. I did that because I manifested that because I believe in myself, Keem. This has always been me from the start. It's the reason I blew up my channel, whether it was a good way or wrong way. Anyways, his team member, I save his name under God's plan. Right? Okay. I tell him that. I show him as he's walking out with Drake's dad. He looks at me, he goes, God. I showed him the July 15th picture with Drake on it. I showed him what was about to go live. So Drake's people approved you putting all this promo for your event with Drake's likeness and Drake's pictures. Drake himself didn't say to me face to face, but his right hand man who went and fed the message to Drake was there saying it. Why weren't you, sorry, of course, why weren't you there? Or maybe that's the part I'm, I'm so, once again. So I have it. I'm more have, of a Tanacon kind of guy. <laughs> why wasn't I there? So I yeah, why weren't you there so I have it during on, the actual yeah, yeah, I have it. I would have been there like the two hours before it started if I was putting it on because I'd be like, I got to fucking make sure everything, got to make sure everybody's good. I got to make sure everything's going right. The whole point is all of us with differing opinions. Like I don't listen to music like that, but with differing opinions are all here celebrating what? Love. Um, I had a speech ready for you on stage and Banks and I Rock wish we could have seen that. I know. I know. I wish you could have seen that, that as well. Fun. You were going to like, I was literally going to hold your hand up in the air together and scream, hate dies, and the crowd was gonna go, love arrives. Rice gum, I was, you know what's beautiful about this? Mm -hmm. Two years ago, if something like this would've happened, Kim would've been on the internet already with a drama alert saying this what happened and just saying his side of the story. We never would've got a chance to speak face to face like this. Right. It was gonna be released in the same way. I wanted Rice on stage, I wanted you on stage, I wanted Banks on stage, I wanted to thank each person, and I wanted to tell Rice why I made the song. Why should I say no if I believe that it's right? So I want, right. I did it with good no, intentions. No, I get that. But I you, might have fucked up, but I did it with good intentions. I get that, but like, you have a credibility issue because like, you know, with the fake pranks and the fake social yo, experiments, yo, right? Yo. People well, you need to be video. able to, yeah, but you also guaranteed that you'd have 2 million views and, and front I was page going on YouTube to. and you're going to be on Ellen next and week and like to. just all and this I'm other gonna stuff. And I'm going to be on Ellen. It's going to happen, Kim. I speak my life into existence. I'm at, I love that. Um, and I, now let's, let's, can 